It's an annual natural phenomenon where millions of corals across the Great Barrier Reef release bundles of eggs and sperm in a mass spawning event. Researchers capture some of those bundles and rear them in a floating nursery as part of a coral regeneration project. It allows us just to put those baby corals after a week of development back down where they're needed most on neighbouring reefs that are struggling. It's one of several reef restoration initiatives being trialled in a collaborative program. The teams identify degraded reefs and try to kickstart the recovery process. What's different about this project is that First Nations rangers are working side by side with scientists, sharing knowledge handed down over generations. We have this generation connection with the Great Barrier Reef and it's almost symbiotic, so whatever happens to the reef happens to us, whatever happens to us happens to the reef. The reef itself is called European. Indigenous rangers are also working with tour groups, sharing lessons from their ancestors through storytelling. Uh, I've met so many people uh, throughout working here in a span of about, I think it's nearly coming on to six years now since I was about 15 years old, who actually don't know Aboriginal people have a connection with the Great Barrier Reef. We knew obviously the Aboriginals, the families, the connections, the land obviously that they have um, and how they tell the stories, but we never knew about the sea. Climate change from cyclones to warmer waters, driven in part by rising greenhouse gas emissions, has devastated some of the 3,000 coral reefs that make up the UNESCO World Heritage Site. This team is trying to buy time for the Great Barrier Reef by combining ancient knowledge with new technology. There are at least 70 traditional owner groups along the Great Barrier Reef. Not every one of them is involved in reef management, but it's hoped over the next 10 years, these conservation projects can be scaled up to include more. Scientists are also keen to share their skill sets. It's a really unique partnership to work across different groups like this. It really hasn't been done in this way before. And I think there's an opportunity with this project to bring it up and down the Great Barrier Reef in those different catchments. The team has released 30 million coral larvae since the project began three years ago. It's a small step, but one in the right direction. For a reef the United Nations says is in danger. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Cairns.